ancient Egyptians understood its medicinal properties. Hippocrates, the father of medicine, recommended it for pain and rheumatism. Everywhere the willow grows in the world, people make use of its healing power. These days, salicylic acid, a form of the active compound in willow bark, is used to smooth skin, tame headaches, and improve the pain and inflammation of arthritis. Now, a recent study presented at the annual meeting of the American Diabetes Association shows that salicylate, the precursor molecule to salicylic acid, helps control blood glucose in patients with type 2 diabetes. Patients who took the drug experienced modest reductions in both hemoglobin, A1C, and fasting blood glucose. It did improve their glycemic control. It brought it down on average by 0.24%. The 0.24 is an underestimate. We don't know how big of an underestimate it is because we can't really measure that. Um, but it's at least a 0.24 um, change in hemoglobin A1C. The compound also exerted some anti-inflammatory effects lowering white blood cell, neutrophil, and lymphocyte counts. But salicylate also came with some risks, Dr. Scholzen said. LDL cholesterol went up a small amount in the treatment group compared to the placebo group of eight milligrams per deciliter. Um, so we're, of course, in any subsequent trials going to monitor that um, with scrutiny. In some cases, they were developing hypoglycemia, in particular in those that are already taking sulfonylureas, and those drugs needed to be dose reduced. Since salicylate is a molecular step away from salicylate, why use that instead of simply going to aspirin? It is a, a simple head-to-tail dimer, an ester of two molecules of salicylic acid, and that's all that it contains. And as it's absorbed um, from the stomach and into the bloodstream, it becomes salicylic acid. When you measure what's in the bloodstream, it's 98% or more salicylic acid. Um, so that's the active ingredient. It's simply a precursor, and the reason we like it is because it's milder on the stomach. Although salicylate appeared to be safe in the study, Dr. Scholzen said it's not ready for prime time. Because we have not gone through the formal process of getting this approved by the FDA, we have to recommend that this is not used by patients today. This, we are conducting clinical trials, and we'd like it not to be done, uh, used outside of clinical trials. Um, we can't stop people from taking it off label, but we recommend against it. The Tinsel trial is a case of linking an old medicine to an old medical journal. His search for information on the topic led Dr. Scholzen to the basement of a university library. The reason we got into this area is because this is an anti-inflammatory drug, the world's oldest anti-inflammatory drug, and there were indications from some very old literature um, from the 1800s suggesting that when it's used in a patient with diabetes that it would lower glucose. Um, so we reinvestigated this based on the idea that inflammation might be involved in the pathogenesis of type 2 diabetes, and we saw that this old anti-inflammatory drug did indeed in animals have efficacy, in people and small trials had efficacy and that is what inspired us to conduct ever larger trials to see if this really could lower blood glucose in a, a robust and sustained way and that's why we conducted a one-year trial in this case. The question now, how do we bring a 5,000 year old drug into the modern market? This drug uh, is unfortunately too cheap to um, interest pharmaceutical companies. It has no intellectual property around it um, so that we don't have a simple pathway of taking it forward um, and we have to now discuss amongst ourselves what the next step is and probably um, discuss with the FDA whether we think this drug in its current form uh, would be the right one to take forward or whether we should be investigating something similar but a little bit different, perhaps lower the dose a bit or make it um, a little more efficacious, a little less side effects. We have to start thinking about how we can um, perhaps make it better. Thank you.